We're all holding our breath and waiting for the vaccine to come out, and there are a number of trials uh, that are getting close. What kind of vaccine are we looking at, though? How important is it to focus on the efficacy, whether there needs to be a booster shot, how long this potentially immunizes people? What's sort of the outlook there on the leading vaccines? Yeah, it's such a great question. So, you know, all the vaccine candidates that are in place right now are really going to require two administrations, um, an initial shot and then a booster some weeks later. Um, and what we really don't know yet, well, let's start with what we know. We know that most of the candidates coming through can induce a rather good immune response in most of the participants. That's based on smaller studies, phase one and phase two clinical trials. What we don't know is how that's going to protect us from the COVID-19 as a disease. Is it going to stop people from getting infected? 100%. Is it going to stop people from being infected by 50% but reduce disease severity by a larger percent? And those particular factors are going to really dictate how effectively this vaccine can be used. Uh, it's not very likely that this is going to be a 100% efficacious vaccine that prevents you from ever getting infected. The more re realistic um, expectations are that it's going to help us protect a certain percentage of the population, reduce severity, and then it needs to be rolled out in a way that can reduce the total number of cases. And that's going to be the critical thing, um, the, how the rollout is going to be uh, based on how efficacious the vaccine is. This is a really important point for markets, too. I know you're focused on the medical aspect, but Goldman Sachs put out a report on how uh, vaccine volatility was heating up, heading into what we're going to be hearing from the likes of Moderna and Pfizer about to release the results of some of their phase three uh, trials. When are we going to know what we're dealing with when it comes to the vaccine, how protective it is, and whether or not it can actually break the cycle of the pandemic we're seeing now? Yeah, so some of the uh, vaccines that have uh, entered their phase three clinical trials already are just wrapping up their enrollments, meaning that they're hitting their 30,000, 40,000, 60,000 people uh, uh, targets. Now, that means that those people, we won't see results from those studies until two months down the line. But the companies will probably be releasing data on the first individuals that were vaccinated. And they'll probably be positioning to get um, emergency use approval from the Federal Drug Administration if they can continue to show that their vaccines are safe and they have some signal for efficacy. So we'll see some preliminary data probably in the next month or two, but the full data from the from the studies won't be released until probably sometime in the in the early year because they only finished up enrolling their patients in the past week or two. Andrew, as you're aware, and just quickly if you can, there are many people worried about taking this vaccine. I don't expect you to talk for the pharmaceutical companies, but from where you're sitting, looking at the process, what are your thoughts on the process and how quickly this is happening? So the process has been sped up in places where it can be sped up in terms of production, in terms of approval, in terms of providing money for, for companies to make large numbers of doses before their clinical trials are done. So those are all good things that have sped up the production and the, and the capacity for us to initiate a vaccination campaign. We're now in a stage where we're looking at safety and efficacy at a larger scale, and those are the studies that can't be sped up. We have to wait a certain amount of time before, after a person gets a vaccine and after their booster so that we can show true safety signatures for these vaccines. And then we also want to have some idea of the issue of efficacy that I just talked about. How good is this vaccine? How is yeah. it protecting? What is it protecting from? Those are the things that, don't, that have to take time, and we're in the middle of doing that right now.